Here we have a 20 plate Mercedes Benz V220D AMG line. Now, this vehicle comes with the 19 inch alloy wheels, all of which are in excellent condition and unmarked, as you can see just down there. We also have the brilliant silver metallic paintwork, LED headlights, we have the Panamerica front grille with the big black Mercedes badge in the centre. We also have the roof rails up top along with the panoramic glass sunroof. It's currently open as you can see just there. Now we also have the privacy glass as well for the rear passengers. We have the rear spoiler as well on the tailgate. Now we do have the front and rear parking sensors with 360 degree cameras. We also have the power operated tailgate along with the split tailgate which as you can see we can open up just the window part like so. If we just close that back though and then I'll show you how it is power operated. We do have a button just underneath here. You can also open it using the remote. But as you can see as that opens we do have a decent amount of space inside of here. Of course we do also have the AC configuration inside of this vehicle. So just come back out, press this button just here. It will close again like so. Back round to the driver's side, you can see the vehicle is free from any major marks, dents or scratches. If we take a look at the interior as well, so coming into the back first, just open the handle like so and the door will slide by itself. As you can see we have the full leather seats, we have the six seats inside of here, armrests as well on the ends. We also have cup holders on either side along with the window switches as these back windows do indeed open. We have the handles along with the vents just up here and let's look at the roof as well. Panoramic roof is open. We also have the climate control for the rear passengers controlled just up there as well. Fixed ISO points on these seats. We have a handle just here as well making it easier to get in and out of the vehicle. A button just here, press the button and then the door will close again like so. Coming inside of the front you'll find the same leather seats with both these front seats being heated. They're also electrically adjustable with the memory functions. And there is a look at them. Again, we have the armrests for each seat. There's the controls for the seats. We also have then the electric mirrors and electric windows with child lock for the rear. Automatic lights down here. We also have the multifunctional steering wheel. Now, if we just take a seat inside and close the door, you'll find the digital screen in the center of the dashboard. If you put a foot on the brake and then turn the vehicle on, you'll find we'll be free from any warning lights on the dashboard. If any of these screens or lights are flickering, it's just a camera, they're not flickering in real life, it's nothing to worry about. We do have paddle shifters either side of the steering wheel, phone connectivity and volume buttons on the right. We also have the buttons to change the view of the screen. As you can see, we have the digital speedometer. We also have the trip computer, navigation, radio and plenty more features as well, which you can go through just there. Now we do also have the main infotainment screen in the centre, plenty of features on here you would have seen on the photos, currently showing the DAB and FM radio stations, but we also have the other options down here, as you can see the buttons, we have the navigation, the radio, we have the media options just here, which is where you find we have the Bluetooth audio, CD player, we have the memory cards and interfaces. We then have the Bluetooth phone connectivity as well for making phone calls. We also have ambient lighting as well in this vehicle, dual zone climate control, ice cold air conditioning just there, as you can see, press it and it turns on. Further down, we have the touchpad with the dial as well for the screen. We also have the drive modes just here, so you can toggle this and it go from sport to comfort or manual mode. Let's leave it in comfort for now. Putting the car into reverse, you'll also find the reversing camera with the 360 view appear on the screen. Put it back into drive and it changes to the front facing camera, but we can also go up here and then we can switch through each of the individual cameras and you can see they all work just as you'd expect. Put it back into park and then again further down we do have the parking sensors button. We have these two buttons either side which will open the doors. If you press this one for example and you can see the door is starting to slide open and then if you press it again it will close again and as you can see it's now sliding back closed. We also have the auto start stop button just there. Further down we have some storage space underneath here with the cup holders. We also have the USB ports down there as well. But that's all I'm going to show you guys today. If you'd like to find out more, please check out the website. This vehicle comes with free nationwide delivery. Thank you for watching.